Welcome to Fast Effect Double Speed Magic the Gathering. Here we have Rodney on Dreadstill versus Dan on Hivemind. You know, with a preordained gonna dig, try and assemble this combo. Hopefully not have to deal. Stand still on the other side of the table. Card can a massive amount of card advantage. Land taking out the volcanic island. Kind of a necessary card for all of the, the standstill decks. Always a problem to lose to opposing man lands back in the day. Not be as crucial now. Go back and forth. Crystal Vein. Loading some mana. Go. Act and sudden substitution. This is the new tech that is kind of breathes some new life into Hive Mind. Back to the Titan. There's a forbidden orchard that has given Rodney a spirit token. Sudden substitution, handing off. Act, regaining that spirit. Oh, and he's got the perfect answer to it. Stubborn denial, a one mana counter spell, and he's got another one for the force of will. And Dan's got a pact of negation. What an absolute firefight here! During his upkeep, he's gonna have to pay five, or he's got stifle. That'll do it. He'll die to his own pact. Wow. That was just absolute haymakers from start to finish. Well, once they got going, I suppose those first few turns were just a little bit of setup, but Hive Mind went for it, and Dread still with just three cards that say no thank you. Unreal, needing exactly all of his mana there to make that work. Playing both Stubborn Denials. If he had played a Cantrip or something, that would have been an absolute disaster. A pack to the. Titan. Well, let's see. I mean, I guess he could have potentially defended it if Dan was tapped out. I guess he was. The Stubborn Denial could have defended the Stifle. So there's a bunch of different ways that could have played out. But Rodney, at the end of the day, had the necessary cards to get out of a very dangerous situation. Starting out game two. Waste no time digging, or he's just trying to avoid getting stifled. I feel like you almost welcome stifle on a land. Just so difficult to win through. So if it's your only land problem. And just jamming a turn to show and tell. A little bit of thinking on this show and tell. I'm trying to skip over that. I've mine put in by Dan. Rodney's putting in a red knot. Red knot does need a stifle to go along with it, otherwise it's going to end up in the graveyard, but stifle is a absolutely hard here. Basically saving the game full upkeep. Trigger can be stifled. On mana, you're not going to be able to pay the 5 for Pact of the Titan. Certainly not going to be able to pay 4, 2, and 2 green for Summoner's Pact. So here we go. I have mind copying this Pact of the Titan. Like, 
Rodney has multiple counter spells in hand. I think he's sorting out right now just how much of a problem this could potentially be. Force of Will not going to work on Pact to the Titan. As Dan will just get a copy of Force of Will. I mistakenly thought that Rodney was uh, an innovator of this deck. I was playing Hive Mind way before it was a recognized archetype back in the, I don't know if it was 2009, 2010. It was right when Hive Mind got printed. After look, I think it was actually a little bit after maybe when Mystical Tutor got banned. It was all kind of around that era. But, uh, oh, as I was reminiscing, he finally fi found the line. He stifled the trigger during his upkeep. There we go. That's all you need to do. Just, just have it. Not, not a hard game.